Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today I'm going to share with you my dramatic black and white landscape workflow in Luminar AI. I'm going to be working on this image and if you'd like to work along at home in the description below this video I have a link you could download this image for free and try it yourself. Now whenever I have an image and I know I want to create a black and white um, you know result I like to convert it to black and white right away I'd like to see it in black and white as soon as possible so I'm gonna to go to the black and white uh, tool filter convert it to black and white right away now as far as the black and white um, filter itself if you're not familiar with it uh, once you convert it to black and white you have two choices here luminance and saturation with the luminance tool it's kind of like a typical black and white mix that you may be familiar with in Lightroom for example Anything that was blue in the image, which was the sky, I could make darker by moving the blue slider to the left. Move it to the right, I make it brighter. So you're just affecting the luminance values of the colors that were in the color image. Now as far as the saturation button is concerned, this is when you want to do selective color. So if I want blue in the image, I could move this to the right. But I'm not doing selective color today, I'm just going to do luminance. And as soon as I convert it to black and white, whenever I have a landscape image with a lot of sky in it, right away, I'm going to darken the sky. That's what I'll do. So I'm going to take the blue slider, in this case, all the way down. Now, I don't necessarily bring it all the way down for every image, but for this image, I think it works. And I'm going to bring cyan down as well. You'll see cyan affects the sky a little bit as well. Now, I'm going to stop there for now, but I'll probably come back and revisit this filter and work on it a bit more. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump up to light. And with light, I'm going to do typical things I would do. I'd bring highlights down, add a little more drama in those uh, brighter parts of the sky. I'm going to open up the shadows. I'll go to the black and whites, open that up, and I'm going to open up uh, whites a little bit. I'm going to hit the J key on my keyboard. That will give me the clipping indicators to let me know if I'm clipping anywhere. And I, I'm not clipping any of those whites, as you can see at all but go to blacks and I'll see you see blue coming on the screen now you see I'm starting to clip the blacks that's what when hit when you hit the J key you'll get those uh, clipping indicators I want to clip the the shadows just a bit so I'm gonna leave a little bit of blue there I'm gonna hit the J key to turn those clipping indicators off all right so I think I'm done with light I'm gonna jump back down to the black and white uh, mix and I'm gonna go to yellow and the 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 grass and down in here and actually the lighthouse itself I want to make that a bit brighter so I'm gonna move yellow to the right move red to the right it's just affecting the sign a little bit over here Move green to the right just kind of brightening up the water in this case a little bit it's alright so I think I'm done with the black and white mix next I'm going to go to structure and I got to be careful with this one if you go even just a little bit you can see you kind of overdo it you have to be careful here because as you're staring at your monitor, your eyes start to fatigue and your brain gets a little tired. And it may not look as bad as it actually is. So you want to be very careful. You may want to consider to do this adjustment and then walk away from your computer for a little while. Let your eyes rest and your brain reset. Then come back and look at it again and see what it looks like. Uh, in this case here, I think a value of 15 looks okay. Now I'm really almost done. You can see how quickly you could do this in uh, Luminar AI. But I am going to go to details. What I want to do is I want to uh, bring out some detail in the, um, in the uh, lighthouse a little bit. So I'm going to go to small details and move that to the right. And I'm just looking at the brick. Now you can see I'm really making the water look terrible and the sky look pretty bad. Uh, there's really no noise in this image because I shot at a very low ISO. But when I bring up small details, I'm starting to bring out some noise in the sky. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask this filter so that it's only affecting the lighthouse. And to do that, I'm going to open up the mask area by hitting right here, Add Mask. And you either paint in the adjustment with the paintbrush or paint out the adjustment with the eraser. Now I could use the eraser and just paint it out everywhere around the lighthouse. I think it's easier to just use the paintbrush and to paint it in on the lighthouse. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the softness of the brush down a little bit. And as soon as I click once, you'll see now it's being applied everywhere. As soon as I click once right on the lighthouse, you'll see it, it will be removed from everywhere else. Watch. So you can see how it got taken away from the sky and the water. 
but I'm going to just brush it in on this lighthouse. And you can see as I brush, I'm seeing a red mask that helps me brush in the right area. You can see that I'll just brush it very carefully on the lighthouse. Let go. And now if I go crazy with it, you can see how it's only affecting the lighthouse. Now, of course, that's way too much. I don't want that much. I just want to bring out those bricks a little bit. Not crazy not making it I don't want to make it you know like a distraction so that looks pretty good and actually I am pretty much done I think this is a lot of drama now to the shot I'm going to add a vignette but I'll give you a before after there's before and there's after now um, what I could do uh, I could jump back up to light and maybe let me just see what this looks like if I bring exposure down just a little bit Nah, I don't like it. Sometimes on dramatic black and white shots, if you just make them slightly underexposed, it will bring out more drama. In this case, I just didn't like what it looked like. So we're going to leave that. I'm going to jump right down to vignette, and I'm going to add a dark vignette. I'm going to open up the advanced settings, and I'm going to add an inner light just to brighten up that middle a little bit. Now I could choose the subject. Let's see what it looks like if I click right on the lighthouse. And you can see how it offsets everything. And I don't think I like that. So I'm going to reset everything. And I'm just going to give me a, a vignette with the middle of the image a little brighter. It's encompassing the lighthouse a little bit. But I think that's pretty good. Um, if I bring feathering down a little bit. And like that. I think that looks pretty good. Now, um, as I mentioned, uh, the image was shot at very low ISO, and there really isn't any noise in the image. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, I really think it's fine. I could go to the Details uh, tab, and I could go down to the Sharpen slider if I feel compelled to do that. But I really don't think this image needs any more sharpening than what it has. So that is my finished image. So again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link. You could download this image and try it yourself and uh, see what you come up with. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>